Well, so what I'm going to do is show you how to graph this linear equation, y equals x plus 1. And to do a problem like this, the main important thing is we need to determine what our slope is and what our y-intercept is. So we know that the slope is going to be the number that's going to be multiplied by x. And our y-intercept is b, which we can write as a point of 0 comma b. So I have y equals x, and I need to say, all right, well, what number is being multiplied by x? I don't see any number in there. So a lot of students say, oh, it has to be 0. Well, the problem with saying it can be 0 because 0 times anything would be 0. So we can't multiply x by 0. There has to be another number that we can multiply by x that's just going to give us x. And that answer is our lovely 1. However, remember slope, we always write our slope. I'm just going to keep this up here. Our slope, we always write as a change in our y coordinate over a change in our x coordinate. So we always want to write our slope as a fraction. Well, 1, how can I write 1 as a fraction and keep it the same value? I can rewrite this as 1 over 1. All right, so now I have my slope. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dis, um, take this out and determine what each point is. My slope is 1 over 1, and my y-intercept is the coordinate point 0, comma 1. And I'm just going to rewrite it as that coordinate point. So when I'm graphing this, I know that's going to be the first point I'm going to plot. right? 0, comma 1, well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. So 0, comma 1 is going to be the first point I'm going to plot. Then now what I need to do is I need to follow my slope to find my next point, which is going to be up 1, because the change in y is a positive 1. So I'm going to go up 1. The change of x is a positive 1. So I'm going to go over 1. I could also continue this pattern. If I keep on doing this, up 1, over 1. Up 1, over 1. Up 1, over 1. And you can keep on following this pattern. You notice that it's just going to follow along the line. You can also go in the negative direction. Negative 1, negative 1. However, we only need to do it really once to create a value um, or to create a line. So by looking at this line, there's a couple things that we notice. We do have a y-intercept, which we already determined was 0, comma 1. We also have an x-intercept where the graph crosses the x-axis at negative 1, comma 0. And there is not going to be any max or minimum, because both of this graph is going to continue indefinitely in the positive and in the negative direction. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a linear equation. Thanks.